Hello, David Spicer here with a special simulcast of Sage Whispers Television and David Spicer Productions Live with a special interview and broadcast which focuses on the play and television series Mother and Son. Now, shortly we'll be speaking to the creator, Matthew Atherton, and he'll be talking about the origins of Mother and Son, the original cast. We'll also be speaking about uh, some other productions, uh, uh, The one of the first community theatre productions to take place uh, in Ipswich, and we'll be discussing the new series on the ABC, the new fantastic cast and script. So that's uh, coming up in this special episode of Stage Whispers Television Live and David Spicer Productions Live. And I will now bring into the studio the man himself, Jeffrey Atherton. Jeffrey, welcome to the studio. Hello, David. And by the way, you did say Matthew Atherton at the beginning of this. I, yes, well, this is live. So, um, uh, of course, you're Jeffrey Atherton and I'm getting you mixed up with the new cast. So there we go. So we, uh, Jeffrey Atherton, uh, I've just, he's just torn up my contract it's all over. Um, <laughs> so Jeffrey, first of all, tell us about the origins of Mother and Son. Where did it come from and uh, how did it develop? Um, when my father-in-law died, we realised there was something a little bit wrong with my mother-in-law. And uh, she was in the early stages of dementia and we wondered what life would be like if she came to live with us. Look, she never did, but... Um, uh, it gave me the, uh, the idea for a television series, which I took to the ABC, to John O'Grady, <clears throat> um, and he liked the idea. He commissioned a script. We made a pilot in the early 1980s, which didn't quite work. It had Ruth Cracknell, but not Gary MacDonald. At the time, there was a problem getting Gary into the ABC because he was so identified with Norman Gunston, and there was someone in a senior position in, in that department who hated Norman Gunston. <clears throat> anyway, the, the, I, the ABC liked the series idea well enough that they remade uh, the pilot the following year um, with Gary this time, the, the nasty head of department had left, um, and uh, we kind of went from there um, with Ruth Cracken and Gary McDonald and Henry Zex and Julie Morris. Of course, this famous theme, which is lovely, but it's, it's being reinvented. It's being reinvented. Look at it mother and son. So, yes, um, I, the series has been remade. In oh, sorry, I know that graphic is up there of Matt O'Kine and, and uh, Denise Scott, who are the stars of the reimagined series. Um, I'd always said no to um, new versions of the series uh, in Australia. It's been remade in about ten or eleven other countries uh, around the world. Most recently in Serbia, they've got their version. But I said yes to this version because Matt being um, half Ghanaian, his father was born in, came from Ghana, adds a new dimension to the whole idea of the mother and son relationship. And I was really interested in that. So it's, it's going to be different from the original series. It's, and of course, you, you, you're, Matthew is, what, is, the, is the writer under your sort of architecture. Is that correct? Um, he is. They've taken the concept. It's still mother and son. It's still uh, the mother and son family. But in a, it's a new family. It's a family for the 21st century. I mean, you know, this is 30, 40 years later from the uh, original idea. The world has changed a lot. There are a lot. There's a lot more things to confuse Maggie, like, you know, mobile phones and television remotes and uh, the Internet and all those sort of things. Um, and as well as that, we've had the Royal Commission into um, aged care, and I think that has added another dimension to the whole idea of putting a family member that you care about into some sort of aged care, and, and that's part of the, um, <clears throat> the new series as well. Now, recently I was honoured to publish the uh, play adaptation of Mother and Son, and it's got the correct name of, of you, Jeffrey. I've got you and Matthew mixed up with it. We're here, Stage Whispers TV, David. We do every, I'm the complete studio. So, um, and um, uh, tell us a little bit about the play adaptation, which also is an update on the original television series. Um, look, it is. Um, and in around 2013, I was approached by some Melbourne producers and, and the director, Roger Hodgman, um, to see if I was interested in creating a play out of the series. A number of amateur theatre companies had taken episodes of the series and put them on stage. But 
Um, I was asked, would I like to, you know, re re that version of reimagine the play? And so that was an opportunity for me to um, you do two things. One is to bring it up to date to the 2013 era with all those technological things that are there to confuse Maggie, but also in a way to kind of draw it to a close because there was, a, there was the possibility that... Um, um, that I could kind of end the story. And that's kind of what the play does. It kind of comes to a conclusion in the way that no episode of the series does. Well, I've now bringing into the studio from Ipswich in Queensland, Adrian Carr, who is the director of the Ipswich Musical Theatre's production of Mother and Son, one of the first amateur theatre companies to do this new version. And uh, let's uh, welcome Adrian. Welcome. And uh, hi, Drippery. Lovely to meet you. Hi, Adrian. How are you? And we'll just have, this is, uh, this is your cast. Tell us about your cast of uh, Mother and Son in Ipswich. We have, uh, yes, here on the left, uh, Shane Mallory is, uh, is Robert. Um, EJ Campbell is Liz. Marty... Um, Blanchett is Maggie, and on the right there, Michael Lawrence is Arthur. And uh, and tell us yeah, about right where up. you're putting the, the play on. It's actually at a, an old courthouse in Ipswich. Uh, it's a, a shell of a, a room with a, a lighting rig, and uh, we put in a, a temporary stage and build our set, and we're halfway there. Well, no, we're pretty much no three quarters of the way there. Um, and a uh, little intimate eighty seat theatre. It's a fabulous little uh, venue. Right, and what when is it on? It opens on the 24th uh, next week. Uh, we're about 75% uh, um, sold, so there's still tickets available, oh. so get in. It's going to well be a done. cracker of a show. It's a beautiful script. Yep. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, on the first read, I was I was cacking myself, but I, I the <laughs> ending, I one thing I remember there is just how affected I was by that ending. I just think it's yep. just the most beautiful, uh, beautifully written script. Uh, well done, Jeffrey. Thanks, Adrian. And Shookers for your production. Thank you. Yes. So let's have a quick look. This is this is your set. We've got the model yes. box on the left and uh, the actual uh, with production a uh, week out from opening night. So tell us about your little set, Adrian. We've still got a kitchen to go in. That's been uh, built by a, a local cabinet maker, which is uh, very generous of him. Um, the tall part of the uh, the set in the middle is for the projections. One of the lovely things Jeffrey's got in the script is... Uh, uh, scene change uh, uh, projections and phone calls, and um, we've got about four. We've got four projections that we will we'll put on that uh, that tall section there. Um, and really, it's it's set in the living room of Maggie and Arthur, and uh, and a couple of other scenes that we create in the same space, um, which are just tightly lit. Very good. Now, what's your favourite sort of scene in the uh, in the new play adaptation? It. it it's the end, the last scene. I, I think that's uh, just a, a wonderful ending. It's sort of, it's a bit of a roller coaster, um, you know, arguments and uh, and tension, and then uh, uh, then it's just a beautiful moment at the end of a, a loving son and uh, his love for his mother and her love for him, and just uh, it sort of ties in this um, beautiful thread that's in the in the uh, script uh, of a, a dolphin. Uh, holiday where uh, the dolphin were uh, were at their feet and Arthur wasn't there but Maggie keeps recalling the story and uh, um, and uh, thinking that he is there and, and he's just exacerbated by the, the whole story until the end where he just allows her to tell the story and you know with with, with love and, and generosity you know it's just a, a wonderful ending. Now have you got if you've got a question for uh, Jeffrey? Um, yes Jeff uh, I'm a, a bit of an arty Jack fan, um, I loved it. I can vividly remember the uh, the colour episode, and uh, and obviously Garrick Mac McDonald was in that as uh, Kid Eager, uh, and a great crew. But obviously, you wrote that or were one of the writers on that. I'd love to hear uh, about your time there, how you got to meet Jeff uh, 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 Graham Bond and, and those guys, because I think you're an actor, um, and he is as well. Yes, that's right, and in fact, that's where I met <clears throat> Gary and. Um... Uh, so it was through that association with Auntie Jack that uh, Gary McDonald ended up in Mother and Son. Cool. Yeah, oh, it's a lovely, a great series. I just uh, that was my jam back in the in the day. So uh, uh, enjoyed your writing. <laughs> great comedy. 
And that thing about the dolphin uh, is something that I wanted to uh, introduce into the play. And that is something that that didn't occur in any of the television series. And that is uh, the way that someone with that kind of early stage of dementia returns to a theme, something that bothers them. And and often the family will try and correct them and tell them they're wrong. But in the end, the best thing is just let them tell the story, let them have it. And so that's part of the the play. That's wonderful. It's beautifully written, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's terrific little chat. So, Jeffrey, do we have any idea when the ABC series, it's in production now, any clue when it'll open? It's not scheduled yet. The ABC are keeping that uh, very much uh, a scheduling secret, but um, I don't think it'll be before September. Right, right. Okay, something to look forward forward to. And, of course, community theatre rights are available via to mother and son, and it can be purchased at the... uh, Book Nook Performing Arts uh, Bookshop, which is proudly managed by Stage Whispers magazine, um, or, of course, on the David Spicer Productions website and uh, lovingly published. Um, yes, it's our little... <laughs> oh, there we go. That worked. So, uh, they're also a very good fan as well. I don't know. but I've... So we've got Jeffrey Atherton in Sydney, Adrian Carr, Ipswich Musical Theatre Company, you open next week. Chookers, and uh, excellent. Uh, thank you for joining on this uh, joint simulcast uh, broadcast between David Spicer Productions and Stage Whispers Television. Mm-hmm.